Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Amita Singh and this is part 4 of Elasticsearch in depth. So if you are new to my channel, please subscribe my channel. You can press the subscribe button. You can also press the bell icon if you want the notification. Thank you. So in today's session, I will be talking about the drop down query. Oh, okay, so you all are very much familiar with what is drop down, right? So uh, if you're not, then let me show you how, what is drop down. So uh, yeah, this is drop down list. I'm clicking on the drop down button. I'm getting the result. Okay, the same things. Yeah, if I, I just, if, the, if it is drop down of a country name, I'll be giving, uh, it will be giving me the result of the country's name, right? This is what drop down is. So uh, I don't want to, I don't want to waste your time. That's why I have already created one query. I have already written this. I will explain you uh, how, how it works and what is it. Okay, so drop down means basically aggregation or a bucket of a you know cluster of your same content or same things or uh, it belongs to a particular uh, field right cluster of that field that uh, so here i'm taking the example of employee first name so my drop down list if i click over here employees first name all the employees first name should appear okay that's just a, for the for demo purpose i'm showing you so that's what now here I'm using aggregation. Aggregation means clustering something in the bucket and it the bucket contains the same, uh, it should have the same things, same properties. It belongs to a same field. So that's what uh, aggregation is, right? So here you can see that in the results section, I'm getting inside the bucket, I'm getting all the name of the employee's first name, right? Employee's first name in the bucket I'm get, getting. Now, in the aggregation, this is uh, this is called name of the aggregation. You can give any name. I'm giving here a unique uh, em, uh, unique employee first name. You can give it anything you want. Okay, this is only your the name of the aggregation. Uh, okay. Now here I'm using query DSL terms. I'm using right in the terms. So uh, in the terms, it should fetch me the it should give me the result, right? So that's why I'm giving you over here terms. Now the field, the field name, if it is term, then it should be uh, field name dot keywords. Now I'm ordering this in the ascending order, underscore key ascending order. The key should be as in ascending order. So Emma, John, uh, Mason, Olivia, Olivia, Sean, Sophia. So all are in ascending order. So you can make change it in ascending, descending, depends on your requirement. Now over here, you can see inside the bucket, I have the key that is name also i have a doc count means how many times this name appears in my document only one this one only one this this olivia means in my document i have three olivia the name it uh, you know it comes thrice but in the bucket i don't want like my drop down shouldn't appear like ami uh, Emma, John, Mason, Olivia, 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 then Olivia, John. It's twice then Olivia, John, Olivia, John. It shouldn't like, uh, it shouldn't look like this, right? So the Sean is, uh, Sean is coming only once and Sophia is also coming uh, once, right? Now the next thing, this is all about name, terms, field name, ordering. Now what is size? Size here you can see, I there is nothing in the hits. It is not hitting any document and you know uh, you know the complete document i don't want that suppose if i write five how the result will come like it will look like this way i don't need this right i don't need all of all these record it's useless for me because i'm creating a drop down list drop down list which contains only the name of the first name only the first name of the employee right i don't care about the complete record which belongs to that first name of this employee i don't bother right so for the size you have to define it's zero because i don't care whatever the record is the hit i don't want the hit uh, i don't want to hit the complete document or the records i just care about i want to care about only these things these things that uh, you know it's i, I need these uh, these result only so the Emma, John, Mason, all are coming in a unique format, no repetition, blah, blah, blah. That's how a, a drop down should look like. 
so that's all about today's session if you like my session please press the thumbs up if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe it and if you have any questions you can post your question in the comment section also if you have any doubt or you want to you know uh, you want me to make some videos on different scenario you can post it in the in the con comment section uh, and one more thing i will be uh, uploading all my queries and uh, the index on my um, you know a blog okay the link is in the description below and uh, i'll be uploading all my queries and everything over there so you can um, see that or you can go and check over there so that's all about today's session. Thank you for watching.